okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Wembley Park for the friendly that will not be friendly. England against the USA. Isn't that absolutely incredible that England have sold out Wembley twice in three months? Get a ticket tonight, it's absolute gold dust. Been out all day. That's the same, I'm getting a wee bit tired now. But we're gonna go and get perked up, get ready for an incredible night. And what will really be England's real test ahead of the World Cup? So many stars I cannot wait to see in the flesh. Megan Rapinoe, just to see her up close will be a little bit of an achievement, I think. Looking forward to see how this goes tonight. Uh, we're heading up Wembley Way just now. And we've got ourselves a little treat tonight. We're in a box. Husband sorted us out. Brownie points! Wembley boy! Isn't she fabulous? Just the difference in coming to, to these games now, the difference in the build up, the difference in the amount of fans turning out as well. Everyone looks up for it, everyone's having a good time, everyone's ready for some entertainment, a good, a good performance. It feels good. Like, oh, this is new. Jill Scott now retired. Great, she's still up there. And Ellen White. You know the actual details now that are going into it? They mean an awful lot to all of these players and the journey that they now line Wembley Way. I love that. should probably mention that the tickets for this game sold out in 24 hours and of course the tickets went on sale two days after England won the Euros and there was just such an appetite for it, everybody wanted a bit and then there was that worry that perhaps that interest would decline in the coming months but it hasn't, it's definitely still going strong this big old box park, but we ain't getting in there so we're not on the list Captain Millie Bright tonight, there she is, Leah Williamson is injured. I wonder what the starting 11 is going to be. We will see. The steps up to Wembley. It's just like a very, very cool scene, isn't it? Can you imagine being one of these players here tonight, even in the US team as well? That is a team full of stars, isn't it? Do you know I'm really looking forward to seeing Trinity Rodman? I'm looking forward to seeing how good she is because I know she's up for everything this year and I know she's a player but I've never seen her in the old flesh and the fact that she's Dennis Rodman's daughter is pretty cool I guess so many families around so many people just living their best lives my husband absolutely hates being with me when I'm doing this that's for sure so I have never done a box experience at Wembley, so this is a first uh, and our dear friends managed to help us out maybe the longest walk I've ever ever had to do. We have been walking for what feels like half an hour around Wembley but still pretty cool and I'm buzzing to see what this box is going to be like. Champagne please! Still walking, still walking still walking so this is the box we're with coca-cola how cool is that you guys remember that cool tonight i know you can't see this right now but it's absolutely bucketing down like pouring such a shame but i think this is only a good thing i think for england because you've got the weather on your side it is miserable now absolutely miserable with about an hour to so yeah, as I said, we're here with Coca-Cola. I'm trying to think how to be normal about that. But this is just so cool. My husband's really good at this schmooze and stuff. I'm trying to act normal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at this. How amazing. 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 Do the amazing count. How many have I said so far? Last time we were here for the Euros final, I remember Hannah, my friend who got me a ticket, we sat right there and it was unbelievable and the German fans were right here as well. So we were very near them when the goal went in. It's quite a good laugh because Hannah, who I was with, was supporting Germany. I 
something like this. Adrian Dunham is here from Talksport. He's schmoozing with my hobby. This is fabulous. but you've got to worry as to how that position happened at the other end moments before England had had a beautiful passage of play some really good football then all of a sudden it's three on two and USA buried it but yeah listen they're, they're brilliant they're absolutely yeah. brilliant and this is a standard we've got to reach but it's two all and it's Dennis Rodman's daughter how weird is that <laughs> right USA have scored England two US two but now we're taking from a potential offside leading to that goal from Trini Rodman. It might be offside. Potential offside, potential offside. show you around the coca-cola box okay this is the little snacks we've got got some professional fruit here the bar is hopping this is eden looking after everyone today this is amy the reason we're here Hello. amy from coca-cola she's the one we're now best friends um i love it in here it's a uh, england two usa one everything has happened in that first half that you could have hoped for in an entertaining game of football. We've had bar coming in everything. Goals rolled off. Lucy Bronze booted in the face. So far, so good. England two, USA one. Roll on the second half. So this half, not as exciting as the first half. Georgia Stanley's having an absolute world of the game. To be fair, but you know, Setting out a little bit more 
this half. It's still England 2, USA 1. A couple of changes as well have been made. So we'll see what is to come. Adrian Durham's already said it. He thinks England can win the World Cup. <laughs> okay, action, 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 action. There's a review for a penalty. A penalty for the US. so strong but that second half they just could not break England down I think when they wanted this game so much Serena Wiegmann wanted this game so much to be able to judge where they're at where they're at moving into a World Cup next year as well what that means to them and it looks like it's going to be a good one for England have a good night I plan to be the last one in Wembley tonight eating a pie Gonna drag me out of here. Do you like seafood? Do you like this seafood? <laughs> 